Well, breaking tonight, Arizona's governor ordering a review of the state's execution process following a botched execution earlier tonight that took nearly two hours. We're learning tonight that Joseph Wood gasped for air and snorted for more than an hour and a half after undergoing the lethal injection. Wood's defense lawyers say the execution should have taken just 10 minutes. He wasn't pronounced dead until nearly two hours after the drugs were first administered. Arizona's governor is ordering a full review of the process. Now, this comes three months after the botched execution of an Oklahoma inmate. Clayton Lockett didn't die until 43 minutes after the lethal cocktail was delivered to him. He finally died from a heart attack. And here in Florida, you might remember the controversy over Angel Diaz's death. He had to be given two doses of de de deadly chemicals back in 2008. After the first didn't work, witnesses say he grimaced in pain and tried to mouth words before the second dose of drugs was given to him. He finally died 35 minutes after that. Now, in both these cases, it turned out that the injection of lethal drugs had missed a vein. And we dug deeper, finding a recent study by Austin Surratt, a professor at Amherst College, who found that almost 7% of all lethal injections have been visibly problematic or botched.